So it is Air Max Day today, and I wanted to go ahead and just bring you guys a random video of top 10 most expensive Air Maxes that I can find on the interwebs. There's definitely a cult following for Nike Air Max sneakers, so hopefully this will be kind of a fun list for you guys. Maybe you haven't heard of some of the sneakers in this list, but let's go ahead and get into the video. What's going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. As always, and happy shopping. Right now, Rejuvenator actually has 40% off of select items on their site. If you use my code HESSKICKS40, it will be linked in the description. And actually, if you click that link, it will automatically apply my discount code in the checkout screen. If you spend more than $35, then you get free shipping also. So the sale ends this Saturday, but I definitely highly recommend the three brush laundry system. But hopefully you guys can find some stuff out there and save a little bit of money. So so this list of top 10 most expensive Air Maxes is actually really hard to generate. You can't just go to StockX and expect that to be the end all be all of it because there's a lot of sneakers that never even hit StockX that are extremely limited and super, super rare. Um, so I wanted to try to compile a couple different sites and just gather as much information as I can. So I'm going to be referencing StockX, Flight Club, Stadium Goods, Index PDX, as well as a Sneaker Freaker article that lists a couple of these sneakers that I'm going to be mentioning. There's going to be a lot of other Air Max sneakers that fall between the $2,000 and $5,000 price range. And if I'm forgetting to mention them in this video, you can leave a comment in the comment section and let other people know some of those sneakers. Some of the Air Max sneakers I have out here, I just brought out for fun. But I challenge you guys, do you guys know the name of this sneaker right here? Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if you do uh, remember this one. I actually owned the original pair back in the day in an orange colorway that was really, really dope. And I've wanted Nike to release them again, but of course they never do. And if they ever did, it wouldn't be a, like a big seller because it's like so obscure, but love this shoe from back in the day. Before we get into the video though, drop a comment in the comment section. What pair of sneakers are you guys wearing for Air Max Day 2020? And just so you guys know, the top 10 is not in numerical order from the least expensive to the most expensive. It's gonna be kind of there, but it's not 100% curated as I'm trying to create this video. The number 10 spot goes to a shoe that was released in 2008 with Nike in a collaboration with Cause, and they use the Nike Air Max 90 current model for this one. Primarily a black sneaker with Volt accents, but it's definitely one of those shoes that once you see the double stitching in the front, you know that is the Cause shoe. Released in 2008, these things can go over $2,000 right now on the open market. It's definitely one of those Air Max sneakers that every time I see it like Index PDX or something, I'm always kind of like, ah man, I, I wish I could afford that, but of course I'm not pulling the trigger. Too expensive for me. All right, so the number nine spot on the list goes to the Nike Air Max One Power Wall Lemonade colorway. And this is one that I'm not very familiar with, but it came out in 2006 and most people probably haven't even heard of it. They were pretty limited, but they came out in 2006 also. So obviously it's gonna be harder to come by nowadays for a brand new pair. The last one sold on StockX for $3,000. So it's definitely a shoe that uh, commands a high resale when the retail is only 150. All right, so the number eight spot on the list goes to the Dizzy Rascal Tongue in Cheek Nike Air Max 90. On the tongues of the shoe, it literally says tongue in cheek. And this colorway is actually a really dope colorway. If you didn't know who Dizzy Rascal is, he's a British rapper. Fix Up Look Sharp is like the one song that I would always play all the time. And the beat on that song was really crazy. But um, tongue in cheek, LP released in 2009 and this shoe was created in celebration with that album. They had some really cool details on the shoe with the sole, the tongue, and also the uh, embossed logo on the heel. All in all, it's a really nice colorway and the last sale price on StockX was $3,500. So definitely a rare sleeper from 2009. So the number seven spot on the countdown and probably my favorite one just from the overall aesthetics of the shoe. I don't even know the long standing history of the shoe. I just remember the very first time I saw it and I was totally shook. I wanted a pair of these and of course I never got them. But this is the Nike Air Max 90 Warhawk. Released in 2007 for $110. These featured the shark teeth on the side of the shoe. It was just very, very in your face and a really cool paint job on the midsole. It definitely was one of those sneaker themes that completely shined through. The last sale price on StockX was $3,026. So it's definitely one of those shoes that are really hard to come by. It's 13 years after the original release and like many of these sneakers in the countdown, if you actually end up wearing them, the midsoles are gonna be cracking on them. But hopefully they end up doing like a re-release or a different version color scheme of, of that exact one eventually because it's just one of the coolest ones in my opinion. Number six spot on the countdown goes to the Nike Air Max One Kid Robot from 2005. Now there's two different versions of this shoe. 
I'm only mentioning the regular version, but there is a friends and family version as well that was super crazy. The regular version is like black, pink, and gold accents. So for the main colorway, there was only 240 pairs released. For the Hyper Strike pink colorway though, there was only 72 pairs ever released. So super ultra limited from 2005 and just an awesome looking shoe. Amazing leather quality on both of the shoes. And I love the fact that the Kid Robot logo is on the back of the shoe also. I was honestly a really huge fan of Kid Robot in the early 2000s. I probably had like five Kid Robot hoodies. The Glow in the Dark Labbit hoodie was one of my favorites. And I don't even smoke, but I just love the Labbit logo. Sneaker Freaker mentioned that the friends and family version sold for $9,000 in 2015. So 2020, these things gotta be worth 20,000 or who knows what they're gonna be going for nowadays. But super ultra rare and limited. I don't know what happened to Kid Robot though. It kind of fell off in a sense. I really wish it would get back to the like Supreme style status of, of uh, streetwear because I really liked the stuff that they were offering. So the number five spot on the countdown goes to the Air Max One Para Pata Cherrywood. There's a lot of different Para Air Max Ones and Pata Air Max Ones that have really shined through and are worth thousand plus dollars. So I'm only gonna mention a couple of them in this countdown. But the cherry wood is definitely one of the ones that are the more expensive of the group. The last one sold for $3,750 on StockX. And so in StockX's words, it says, in 2009, Pata and Nike released a collection of four collaborations on the Air Max One in celebration of Pata's fifth anniversary. The Pata Para Nike Air Max One Cherry Wood did not release until later March 2010. So these were originally teased to be friends and family only, but they did release 258 pairs of the Pata by Para Air Max One Cherry Wood. The sneaker is covered in burgundy suede and has a white midsole and four different tones on the outsole of the shoe. But obviously with a limited release of 258 pairs, of course the hype is gonna be there on the shoe and the resale is insane as well. So in line with that, the number four spot on the counter goes to the Nike Air Max One AMS Para Amsterdam. They they released originally in 2005. I remember the first time I saw the Amsterdams in person, I was like, those are crazy, but I honestly didn't know what they were either. The color blocking of this sneaker is definitely one that is iconic and noticeable nowadays. It's just a rare, different looking sneaker and definitely original. So from StockX's word, it says, Para, the Dutch artist, is most known for his curvy post-pop imagery and vibrant colors. His hometown is in Amsterdam. The sneaker features an Amsterdam crest on the heel, which obviously solidifies the name Amsterdam of the Air Max One. Rumored release was only about two or 300 pairs of the sneaker, and the sizes only made it up to 11.5. There was even a rumor back in the day that small amount of these shoes made it to outlets for 30 bucks, which is crazy to even think about. But they also had a friends and family version that had a scripted signature stitched under the forefoot of the mudguard and it was only limited to about 24 pairs. So those ones would be like super mega grails. But the last sale price of these were $3,500. It's definitely a shoe that I could see going up in price just because it's so iconic. This would be like the, the New York Pigeon Dunks to the dunk world. It's This is a really, really sought after sneaker from Air Max collectors. So the number three spot on the countdown goes to the Air Max 90 M Eminem Charity Series sneakers. Most people know Eminem for the Air Jordan line because all of his Air Jordan sneakers that have released. The Air Jordan 2s and the Encore Air Jordan 4s, the Carhartts, all of those are like extremely, extremely sought after. Tens of thousands of dollars for uh, some of those ones. But they also had a bunch of Air Max sneakers in 2006 that they had a charity auction with. The Air Max 90 being the one that I wanted to talk about, it did feature Eminem on the side panel of the shoe in a blue patent leather. This sneaker was limited to eight pairs though, so it's like, crazy, crazy limited. There's not very many obviously around. And back in the day they were selling for $8,000. I don't know what the current market is on this shoe or even if there is a market. If you want to leave a comment and let me know what the last sale price you guys have seen would be, that would be crazy because I don't know what it is. But um, it's just one of those super ultra rare limited sneakers that is worth mentioning. And it would be cool to see Nike do an updated collection of that because uh, Eminem definitely liked his Air Max sneakers. So it would be fun to have like a, a revamped version. All right, so the number two spot on the countdown actually goes to a more recent pair of Air Maxes, the Air Max One Master Friends and Family. There was only rumored 50 pairs that were given away for Air Max Day in 2017, only three years ago. In fact, these are still limited. I actually haven't even seen any pairs move through StockX, which is kind of interesting. But at some point, these were selling for $5,000 on stadium goods. And it was sort of like a what the Air Max One, where it had little hits of patterns from all of these other previously released Air Max Ones that each had their own sort of cult following as well. And 2017 definitely felt like it had a stronger Air Max Day presence than in 2020. This year it seemed to be pretty weak. We just saw the Atmos drop. That was pretty much it for the Air Max 90. The rest of the stuff, they're really just trying to push the future products, which is the 2090, which I will have a review coming soon. I did buy a pair of them because I'm curious to see what they look like on feet and how they are in hand. But the 2017 Air Max Day with 50 pairs of these, 
uh, was definitely something to be seen. All right, so we made it to the number one spot on the countdown. And if you guys are enjoying the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. And if I missed anything on the countdown, again, leave a comment in the comment section of other really hyped up Air Max ones. I can't believe Hess forgot this. Why didn't he mention that? Leave those comments in the comment section. But the number one spot on the countdown goes to a very ultra rare Alexander McQueen Nike Air Max 90 laser. And this sample is actually at Index PDX right now selling for $25,000. So it's a really, really expensive sneaker, but it's really, really rare as well. And the sample at Index actually comes with a laser cutout of the upper as well, like an extra leather piece that's gonna come with the shoes. But this is a really, really rare pair of sneakers. It's a very little scene collab with the late Alexander McQueen. According to archive.dna, this Air Max 90 was originally commissioned by McQueen as a one of one for his own private collection. We don't have a date of when these were created, but it sounds like it was mid 2000s. And that's when the Nike laser treatment was introduced to the public. It says the shoes themselves are made of a Duchess black satin using a one piece construction. These shoes were originally sold at a private American Express black card event and made it into some private hands. So that's the number one spot on the countdown because of its exclusivity. And actually I held those in person at Index. They're really, really crazy. It's definitely a very unique pair that if you get the right person like a Travis Scott talking about them, it will blow up all over the internet and they'll be worth $100,000 or something like that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this countdown. It's been fun to create. If you have other ones similar to this that you guys would like to see, I'd love to create those type of videos for you guys. So drop a comment in the comment section, most expensive Jordans ever, most expensive dunks, whatever you want to see. Go ahead and get it in the comment section and let me know what you guys want to see. But thank you guys for stopping by. Much appreciated. And hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day. Uh, we will see you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.